welcome to sunny Austin. <laughs> You've joined us at the back of a very long line where we're waiting to get some barbecue brisket because that's what you told us to eat whilst we were here. It's a pity we brought the British weather with us. What we have got is a brand new member to the sorted team. Yay! It's Dana Jackson! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just me. Would you mind holding our place in the queue for oh, a minute? The queue? The line. The line. We just sure. gotta skip out to get some um, stuff. Two minutes. Back in two, minutes. Just a two minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No worries. See you later. Wait, guys, you have forks already? I've been waiting in the queue uh, for an hour. My, didn't you get my text? Sit oh, down, Joy. Great, fine. All right, let's do it. I'm Sorry, ready. Chanel. On these adventures, we don't really know what we're talking about until we've dug in and eaten some of it, and then we can start to form opinions. It just melts. It's gone. The difference between that moist, tender beef mm. and then the crispy bark on the outside is amazing. Bark? That way, is it's that what it's called? The bark, the cue, what is this? <laughs> it's really good. I'm thinking though I might need to try something else, just to make sure. We liked the way Chanel was thinking, so we headed out to the Salt Lick Barbecue in Driftwood to try even more barbecue brisket. It's so smoky. Is it possible to cook this at home? We need to know the whole process the beef goes from, from start to finish to that plate. Why is Austin the best place in the world for barbecue brisket? Okay, I am stuffed. Can I tell you a little secret? They just sent me here to check on you guys. <laughs> But I think you have it covered. So I'm going to fly back to New York now. It was nice to meet you guys. Now go ask those questions. We couldn't let down Salted's newest member now, could we? So luckily we were able to talk to Salt Lake owner Scott, who very kindly put aside some time to answer our questions. Oh, it, uh, well, you know, brisket's the heart and soul of Texas barbecue. It's a big piece of meat. And so it takes a long time to cook. Uh, they go anywhere between on the size, anywhere from 17 to 20 hours. Simple, simple spices, and then you put it up back here at the back, you sear it, and then take it up there and slow cook it. And then the last thing you do is when it's ready, you bring it back, you put the sauce on it, and then the high heat caramelizes the sauce on the outside. What do you think makes Austin so great for barbecue? Austin has great barbecue because most everybody around here has a passion to do it. It's in our blood. Scott, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Great pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Y'all hurry back. <laughs> Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.